Hello guys, glad to meet you again. On this occasion, I will bring a storyline of a movie called Fantasy Island which was released in 2020. This film tells about a magical island that can grant the wishes of everyone who comes there, but actually there is a danger that threatens them. So, will those who come to the island be able to fulfill their fantasy and be safe from danger? But before we know the complete story, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe and press the bell so you will not miss the next video. The film begins with a chase scene for a woman named Sloane. She claimed to be kidnapped and suddenly arrived on an island. Few moments later, she called someone named Mr. Rourke. It turned out that the man on the phone was the mastermind behind the kidnapping. Sloane was caught by his men and taken to a place. The scene switches by showing a maid named Julia who was waiting for guests to arrive on an island. Then, the plane arrived there carrying guests who were Melanie, Gwen, Patrick, Brax, and JD. They were well received on the island by the innkeepers. However their arrival seems to be watched by a man named Damon from the distance. Later, they entered the inn. Milani was seen entering the room, and she brought her photo with her lover. Elsewhere, Gwen asked Julia how the island could grant everyone's wish. Julia replied that it was a mystery on this island and only Mr. Rourke, the manager, knows it. Not long after, strange things started to happen, Gwen saw footprints before she was about to take a shower. She also saw a glimpse of someone burned who was watching him. In the evening, the guests met Mr. Rourke who said that they would get the one fantasy they ever wanted, for information, the island which they visited was called a fantasy island, and it was known to be a magic island that was able to grant any wish from those who came there. The first people who have a turn to fulfill their fantasy were Brax and JD, who were known as brothers. They have fantasies of partying with sexy girls. Instantly Mr. Rourke took them to a party just like they had dreamed of. Surprisingly at the party, they again saw a burned man. Next, Mr. Rourke asked Gwen what she wanted. Gwen said that she had a desire to go back into the past where she had rejected a man's proposal. Gwen wanted to repeat that moment and accept the proposal from the man. Somehow, Mr. Rourke was able to make Gwen's wish come true, and the man Gwen had dreamed of was proposing to her again. This time Gwen accepted the man's proposal. That way the impossible can be realized on this island. Then the scene switches with Melanie and Patrick who were talking about their respective fantasies. Patrick, a police officer, said that he actually wanted to be in the army because his parents never allowed him. Meanwhile Melanie said that her fantasy was just to get revenge on her school friend who used to bully her. Not long after, Mr. Rourke came and said that their fantasy would soon come true. Melanie was taken to a dungeon where she could fulfill her fantasy. There was already Sloane who turned out to be Melanie's school friend. Melanie, who thought it was all just a hologram, immediately tortured Sloane who was sitting tied to a chair by pressing the button there. A psychopath even came to torture Sloane. Feeling everything so real, Melanie realized that it was not a hologram. She immediately helped Sloane from the psychopath. Both of them then ran and planned to escape from the island. The psychopath was still chasing them, and he almost killed Sloane. Luckily, they were helped by Damon who was previously seen at the beginning of the movie. The scene switches to showing Patrick who has now become a soldier. Mr. Rourke dropped him off in the forest, and he then met two soldiers. They arrested Patrick on suspicion. Patrick was brought before their leader who turned out to be Patrick's father who was declared dead in the Venezuelan War. Patrick told him that he would die on the mission. Knowing this, the father intended to cancel the mission, but Patrick instead said that his father was a coward and later they fought. Patrick then told his father to keep on the mission, but this time he made sure that his father would be saved. Meanwhile, J.D. and Brax, who were at his mansion with the girls, were suddenly attacked by a group of terrorists. They were both held captive by terrorists. Few moments later, a group of soldiers who were none other than Patrick's father's troops arrived to save them both. J.D.'s fantasy turns out to be connected to Patrick's fantasy. Eventually the terrorists were defeated, and Patrick's father did not die in the mission, because Patrick prevented a grenade from blowing up his father. Then a shocking thing happened, where the dead terrorists came back to life with black eyes. This time they couldn't be killed. 
The zombies attack again, and they kill Patrick's father as well as JD. Elsewhere, Gwen was seen married to the man who proposed to her, and even now she has a child. But even though his life was going well on the island, something bothered him. She still felt guilty about the apartment fire that killed a man named Nick. That's why he asked Mr. Rourke one more chance to fulfill her other fantasy. Reluctantly, Mr. Rourke finally gave Gwen one more chance. Gwen was brought to a place then opened the door that connected to the apartment where Nick was burning inside. Unable to save Nick by herself, Gwen tried to ask the police who was none other than Patrick. At that time Patrick refused to help and Gwen returned to help Nick. Unfortunately, Nick still died in the fire. Julia who was there immediately helped Gwen and took her out of the burning room through the magic door. Meanwhile, Melanie, Sloane, and Damon were still in the forest. Damon told them that he was also a guest on the island and was actually a secret agent sent to investigate the island. Damon also told a magical secret on the fantasy island. He took Melanie and Gwen to a spring with a stone inside a cave that was said to be able to grant the fantasy of anyone who drinks the water. Damon then told Melanie and Sloane to warn others to be on the lookout for Fantasy Island if they made it out of there. Not long after, the psychopath who had been chasing them came back. This time Damon sacrificed himself to fall with the psychopath into the abyss. Sloane and Melanie finally call Sloane's ex-husband to pick them up on the island. Then they went to the mansion to gather with the others. They had asked Mr. Rourke why their fantasies were related. We will know this at the end of the story. Before long, the plane sent by Sloane's ex-husband arrived, and they immediately ran out. Unfortunately, the plane was shot by terrorists who had become zombies. Seeing this, they immediately ran for safety. Melanie and Sloane talked about the magic stone on the fantasy island. Then they had the idea to blow up the rock with a grenade that Patrick brought to end all their fantasies. Arriving at the place where the stone was located, they are disturbed by a creature that separated them except Melanie. There, Gwen again met a black shadow that showed his true form. It turns out that the shadow was Nick, Gwen's relative who was burned to death and we also saw him in Melanie's photo. Nick was Melanie's lover, and everything that happened on the island turned out to be Melanie's plan. She wanted to take revenge for Nick's death on those who were involved in it. Melanie was the first to come to the fantasy island and fulfill her fantasy of revenge. Feeling cornered, they all finally fought Melanie and managed to snatch the grenade in Melanie's hand which she took from Patrick. Just as she was about to detonate the magic stone, suddenly Mr. Rourke came. They also saw Mr. Rourke's fantasy. Mr. Rourke was also a visitor to the island, and he was the first to discover the magic stone. The island and inns that existed today were all his fantasy. Likewise with Julia who turned out to be his wife and had died of an illness. Because of this fantasy, Julia could be resurrected, and his fantasy would last forever, as long as he didn't leave the island. Gwen then made Mr. Rourke realize what's the good thing about living in a fantasy world that was not real at all. Mr. Rourke's wife would also always suffer because she had to die many times to come back to life in his fantasy. Finally Mr. Rourke came to his senses and wanted to help them. Mr. Rourke asked Sloane to drink the water from the rock because technically, Sloane didn't have her fantasy yet. Sloane reminds the spring water she collected before and wishes Melanie to be forever with Nick. As a result, a zombified Nick attacked Melanie and dragged her into the water. Before drowning, Melanie detonated the grenade, but Patrick sacrificed himself and fell on it to protect the others. As the fantasy concludes, Gwen, Sloane, and Brax wake up at the resort, where Rourke agrees to let them go. While the guests board a plane to leave the now purified fantasy island, Brax wished for JD to came back to life, but Rourke explains Brax should stay on the island for his fantasy to come true. After Gwen, Sloane, and a resurrected JD departed, Rourke asked Brax to become his new assistant under a nickname, Tattoo. And the movie ends. Terrifying right? Having fantasy is just good, but if it can put someone in danger, better you watch for it. Okay guys, thank you for your time and please come back on the next video. See you soon.